courtrooms, the places you go to find out if you are going to jail. But what happens if you commit a crime in Bloxburg? Well, today I am building a courtroom for Blacksburg City. And after it's built, all of you guys are invited in and we are going to have a trial. I'm talking judge. I'm talking jury. And of course, I'm going to be the lawyer. As you can see, I'm dressed as L Woods. So subscribe, buckle in, and let's get courting. So guys, we are going to be basing my court off the Supreme Court. Because look how grand that is. I want that level of grandness on mine. So we'll do it about eight back because it looks like they've got some like massive staircase. <sighs> And I'd say the front is probably about eight along. And we're going to make it go back quite far because you think you've got to fit quite a few things in a courthouse. You've got the courtroom, you've got the entryway, you've got the jury room, probably other things as well that I've just not thought of at the moment. And I think these are just about big enough for the courtrooms. <laughs> and oh yeah, wasn't I meant to add some massive stairs? So we're just going to add, I think, some little steps with basic shapes. And I've just realised I can be doing this in a much simpler way. Rather than using basic shapes, I'm gonna use quite an old-fashioned building hack. Queen Victoria actually invented this, guys. And it involves using sand boxes. OG Bloxburgers probably know what I'm talking about right now. I, mean, I don't want it too, too high. I'd say about this is good. You're then going to go into the basement and then you're going to place the sandboxes down here. Then you place in your staircase on top of the sandbox. And as you can see, you can then copy and paste this and you're getting what I call half a staircase. Because when you then delete the basement, just click yes. Look, you've got some really easy custom stairs and they're going to be even. That's the main point. We now need to work out what colour our Supreme Court's going to be. In the picture, it looks yellow. I'm not going to lie, Bloxburg doesn't really do yellow very well. Oh. I can do this more, you guys. So instead, we're gonna do a slightly greeny, like sage color. Then we need to add, like, it's called a gable roof. Um, oh, <laughs> what's gone over there? Oh, you can poke it out a little bit. That's bougie, isn't it? And did you know, guys, if the arrows are really far away, like over at the back here, press R, they move to the front. Isn't that so cool? And right now, I will admit this looks very questionable. I'm gonna go into decals, and I don't know if this is gonna work, guys, but Bloxburg's about trial and error. And I'm gonna run over with my, <laughs> with my high heels and I'm just going to search up pattern. No way that actually worked. Now we can put this new and improved design like on the front of our Supreme Court. Now it's a very small detail, but it's definitely a noticeable one. Right after that, we're going to put in the pillars. Now you'd think it's these marble ones, right? But it kind of looks like they're a little bit more square to me. So we're going to try both. We're going to try both. And did you know you can actually resize these pillars and you can make it chunky as well. And honestly, I think the square one does. So we'll make it a little bit neater now. That was just a test. That was just a trial. And they didn't really leave much room to get in, did they? Like look at the picture. You have to like sidestep through into it. So the rest of the roof is also a pointy roof. Next up's the wall trim. So we'll start off with just this simple flat baseboard. Now it's for the fun part, the windows. We are gonna be using factory windows, of course, because courtrooms are very grand. So our windows are gonna be chunky, chunky. And to make them even chunky, chunkier, we're gonna actually outline them with these big chunks. Just make sure you're actually like attaching it to the window each time, because otherwise when you go to and copy and paste it, you're gonna like copy and paste nothing. But as you can see, when it's all together, it copy and pastes all together. <laughs> Excuse me, Bloxburg. I am the law here, and you've just disconnected me. I am appalled. And oh, by the way, guys, I was trying on bangs earlier, but look how weird I look without my glasses. I look like I'm, I look like I'm like a demon. I'm back, guys. We're going to add our windows to the courtroom, and oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why am I making everything so expensive today? These windows are so pricey. But as you can see, don't they just look so much better when they've got this broad outline? And then we'll borrow those pillows. <laughs> pillows? We're going to borrow these pillars from earlier and put them in the corners. On the side of the building, we don't actually need anything. I'm just going to put like a lump. And is it just me who really wants to go and sit on a jury? Because I don't know if this is the same in America, but in England, I learn in class that random people, like literally everyone, can be called upon to be on a jury. I'll explain a bit more later, but the jury is basically who decides if you're guilty or innocent. Anyway, my Supreme Court doors are going to be made out of wood. And then to cover up that middle bit, they've got a really cool chandelier coming down, actually. It looks like they've got one in a jar. Next best thing is actually this new mid-century 
century light and if we just pull it all the way down and then they've got like weird tiles leading up to this so honey you best believe i ain't doing that i'm gonna do these fancy like diamond shaped tiles we don't really need anything else i'm just gonna put grass though because i'm a perfectionist now i don't know if you'd be allowed to go and eat your lunch outside of a court hearing where a murderer is probably inside but in blocksburg i make the rules <laughs> And sometimes less is more. This actually looks nice. I would like if the front was a little bit more prominent and tall. So we'll try it. Oh, what up? oh my gosh. That is proof, guys, that you should always, always try your theories. For the floor in here, it's got to be checkers, hasn't it, guys? We do, however, have one alternative other than checkers, which I've just thought of, actually. It's basically my old marble trick. Where you do kind of rectangles going inside of each other. So I actually do prefer this to the checkers anyways and by the way this top floor is going to be rendered void because look at this what are we meant to do with this big chunk going through the middle and if you ever have a room that is void then i would highly recommend putting a wall in it you might be thinking have you gone insane reese's why are you doing that well the truth is it matters what you can see through the windows because if you look in and it's just a black void people are gonna smell a rat they're gonna think what's going on in there so you're gonna also place fake doors and even go as far as coloring the floor really you can see now it actually looks like something's going on but for the real entryway this is my inspo pick Yes, I looked up interior of Supreme Court and why is it fancier than like the Ritz Hotel? You're trying murderers here, guys. Not selling five-star hotel rooms. Either way, we'll have a platform up here, which I don't know what's gonna be here yet, but we're just sort of designing the layout. For the walls, I am gonna be being a little bit basic here. You're basic. We're gonna be using the pre-made panels that Blocksburg has to offer. Then we're gonna use these ornate stone fences, which is kind of annoying me how it's like <laughs> slashing right into that. So I might add just just a tiny, tiny platform here. For once, I might keep these railings, their default colour. And then, would it be bad to add escalators? We are in the 21st century now, guys. And we might as well get it out of the way, get it out of my system, adding a Victor chandelier. And of course, I double them up. So it does cost 12 grand, but 12 grand well spent in my books. Not to sound like a millionaire or whatever. And yes, okay, so we'll come back to the entry later. I know what you want. You want a courtroom, and so do I. So once again, the floor in here is just going to completely mimic what we did in the entryway. Then I'm grabbing this painting. I don't actually have a panel decal code. I literally search up panel. And you can colour it whatever the hell you want to. You might be saying, Reese's, you can technically have a two-storey room here. I could, but then we'd have no room for anything else. And remember, we need the jury deliberation, etc, etc. So it's no secret that the judge's stand is in the middle. This is where they will actually sit when the court case is going on. And I like building with the roof on so i'm gonna have to put some lights down so we can see what's going on now you might think a judge is all powerful in a courtroom now occasionally this is true some trials will have just a judge However, this is very, very rare and it will only happen if there's like a worry that someone's gonna like blackmail the judge or the jury. And then we've got, of course, add their iconic hammer. This hammer is for them to order peace in the courtroom and also for them to make their sentence. So although the judge does not decide if they're innocent or guilty, they do decide how long they'll be spending in the slammer. And in America, they always have like the USA flag over their courtroom. So even though this is based off an English courtroom, I'm gonna put America American flags just for the aesthetic. And I don't know why it was just waving. Like, wh why is it waving? There's no wind in here. You're telling me I've got a draft in my new courtroom? We're gonna be a little bit sneaky and actually put doors behind here. You and I both know there's absolutely nothing behind here. But again, it's just to add to that secret little aesthetic. Next up, we're doing the witness stand. This is where the witness will sit and give what's called a testimony. So we've all seen this in the films. It's basically where you're like, I saw Fallon Carrington get you shut or something like that. As you can see, it's a little shorter than the judge's chamber and a little bit more plump. That's because the judge has to be like the highest up because they're the most honorable. That's why they're called your honor. And on this side, you would never have two witnesses speaking at once. But what you might have is somebody called a typer. Now, this is not really done anymore because I'm not joking. I think AI actually does it. Basically, this is where the trial transcripts are typed. Next up, we have the most important part other than the judge, the jury. These people are deciding your fate. 
The jury is made up of, as I said earlier, just 12 random people. It could legit be you. I highly recommend, guys, ask your parents if they have ever done jury service, because if they have, they'll probably have some interesting stories for you. And I'm pretty sure they have juries in both America, England, Australia, Netherlands, Philippines, everywhere around the world, really. We can only fit 10, okay? I may be breaking the law a little bit by just having 10 jurors, but sorry your honor it wouldn't fit otherwise you then need to add in the desk system which is where the defense are going to sit so these are two desks at the front the victim and the offender will sit here and then the rest are for the wooden courtroom benches and if you're wondering how you're getting up here um buy a unicorn guys <laughs> but for now let's break my bank even more and add a chandelier and it actually looks kind of good if you do it like dangled oh i like that and finally you would probably have security Security cameras. So let's go up now and do the judge's cabinet and the jury deliberation. In real life, these two rooms would be under lock and key. But again, for Bloxburg's sake, we're just going to have them a little bit more open. So on the left will be the jury and on the right will be the judge because that's how it kind of is downstairs. We'll do a large Victorian table because this fits pretty much enough people. Did you know when you're a juror, you're not actually allowed to look up anything about the case because obviously you could then be biased and stuff. <laughs> And also, you're not really allowed out of the room before you've made the decision. So yes, this is their deliberating table. Also, I realised I would never normally use this because it's so tacky. But we can actually use, like, the green lights on the wall as well. And then over here, it actually kind of makes sense that the judge is so near. Because they're actually allowed to ask the judge what the law means, I think, anyway. Because obviously, if I got called in now, I wouldn't really know much. I'd be like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so it's actually kind of handy that the judge is right here. We're actually better than the real courts, guys. And then, yeah, they're just going to be on their Mac but probably playing Roblox or something. <laughs> On the right side is going to be more after the trial is decided and everything's done. This is going to be the prison holding cells and the interrogation room. But just before we do that, we may as well complete the entryway. It's basically just a bunch of waiting rooms and waiting chairs. And it, <laughs> why does it look like a restaurant now? We're then going to add some more of these Victorian tables, not as desks, just as side things. We can add like a vase of flowers or something lovely like that. Downstairs, however, is going to be a little bit more in depth we're gonna have the reception desk because obviously you can't just stroll into a courtroom you could be a baddie <laughs> yeah not that type of baddie guys like a baddie villain so i don't know why i've like made it the same as the jury room but i'm kind of glad i have and also like i feel like the receptionist here would be so rude and they'd be like name now it's time to go onto the other side the prison this is where things are going to get scary so you're gonna be in this room for one of two reasons. First of all, you're guilty and you need to go to prison. The second reason that you might be staying here is if you haven't had your trial yet and you don't have anywhere to stay, they might hold you in the court as well. So I ideally want the rooms to be on each side, if that makes sense. And I actually really love these default colours, but I am going to make it like a bit more of a fancy red, even though that kind of looks like a vampire now. It's okay, we're just putting Damon Salvatore in trial out here. <laughs> Hello, brother. So the cells are going to be in this back one because obviously no big windows. You're not allowed light. light. And the reason they don't have to be that secure is because you're in a courthouse. How much more secure do you think it can be? We'll do four, even though we're only going to have three cells. And we'll have the maximum security doors. And for the beds, I'm not going to put them on a sleeping mat on the floor. I feel like that's a little harsh. We'll just give them still the cheapest bed, but at least it is a bed. We'll then give them a toilet. Oh, I feel bad putting it right next to the bed, but you've got, you've got to put it somewhere. Somewhere. Now on this left side is going to be the interrogation room and also solitary confinement. Solitary confinement is like made out of these weird white tiles, isn't it? It's actually kind of scary. Like you go crazy in there. <laughs> But anyway, so you'll have a bright light shining into your eyeballs. That's the whole point of interrogation, to put like the spotlight on you. There won't be anything dangerous, so all we'll have, have is some paper and put police. As we go upstairs, this is going to be where we have like the investigating room. And this is the final bit before you guys come in. That's gone quick. We might as well use this exact pin board. And you know those really cool murder boards? We should probably add desks with computers. This is where like the sheriffs and the chiefs of the police are gonna be sat and trying to work out really what has actually gone on here. This is also gonna be a staff room, but like not really too much of a staff room. All we're gonna have is a coffee machine because you give adults coffee guys and they'll just shut up. <laughs> is that my 
Is that my twin sister out here? Twin! What? Her legs are so skinny. She's been on a diet. Finally, I had kind of the genius idea, if I do say so myself, for this to also be a preservation room of evidence. They would definitely not be in the staff room in the real world. But since we don't really have any more space, I was thinking this is perfect. What could have been left at a crime scene? Well, a duffel bag is an excellent start. This could be filled with all sorts of things, even a body, maybe a fire fire stick, like not an Amazon fire stick, but like an actual fire stick, because somebody could have hit someone around the head with a shovel. Then with some final finishing touches to the entryway of the courtroom, that completes the courtroom. So if we just look at it from the exterior, it's actually really beautiful. We've obviously got these really nice, like almost ceiling to floor windows, and we've got to admire these pillars, but we all want to go see the inside and do our trial. So let's go look around. This is the reception. And oh my gosh, somebody said I was, wait, what did she say? I was waiting five years to join your server. My heart is thumping. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw. So this is the entryway reception. This is where Mandy or whatever her name was would be like, yo, name please. And yeah, the reception's actually really grand and beautiful. Over here is the courtroom. This is where we're gonna be doing our trial in just a minute. It is honestly stunning in here as well. Over here is the prison center. Cells. This is where you're going in a slammer like these people you're getting locked up guys and this side is the interrogation room Shall we try and interrogate someone guys before we even start the trial? Are you guilty? Tell me However up the top. Oh my oh, I forgot lights whoops But if we have not got enough evidence yet We're gonna sit here and we're gonna review the evidence We can also look through the evidence like what's in the duffel bag This is the upstairs view of the courtroom and then here is the judge's chamber so I would should probably be the judge, but I wanted to be legally blonde. So I'm the lawyer instead. Jabba the Hutt, who's wearing a nice hat on one of his eyeballs. <laughs> and basically you have now seen the entire inside. So let's begin the trial. This is Hannah and May. Hannah is telling me she has robbed a bank. May's crime is impersonating me. True Reese's. What is your defense? Hannah's defense, I am poor. Wow, that is no excuse for stealing, Hannah, yeah? Do you see every poor person stealing? I don't, but I do understand and I do sympathize with you. I am stood here with my Louis Vuitton bag with a dog in it. So to make you feel better, I will give you $5,000. And why is there a kid in court? Court is no place for a children. You heart your mum. Go find her then. You shouldn't be in a court of law. And Love Angels has murdered her hamster. Order, order. I agree, Lisa. How many years are you going to get, Love Angel? It's a bit late for knowing now. 48 years. You're going down town. So there we have it, guys. That was the trial and me building a courtroom. Thank you so much to everyone who came and joined in on the roleplay. Subscribe if you like this video and want more like it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.